Hi, so tomorrow I'm going down to the Anarchy in the Ukulele headquarters and um, before I go down I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about Anarchy in the Ukulele and just the ukuleles that I'm going to be taking down tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So Anarchy in the Ukulele is myself, uh, KD and Abby and we've set up a YouTube channel and we're trying to cover everything ukulele and we're trying to do it in a really really fun way so we've got lots of ukulele reviews on there um, we've got lots of tips on there we've got lots of lessons on there and we've got some fantastic live guests we've already had um, Jade Majin who came in and did a fantastic version of Havana. We've done a rock version of Survivor's Eye of the Tiger just on ukuleles which was absolutely awesome. If you get a chance I really suggest that you check that one out. It's, um, I mean, it's good but it's also hilarious. And then when I'm going down tomorrow we're going to be doing a version of um, Wicked Game by Chris Isaac and then we've also got um, a guest Fern who's coming in. Fern plays in a band called Dusky Sunday. Um, Bongo Boy happens to be in that who also does a lot of the work. He does a lot of work behind the scenes for Anarchy and the Ukulele. Um, and Dusky Sunday are coming in and we're doing, well we're going to do one of their songs and we're also going to do Fast Car by Tracy Chapman which is a beautiful, beautiful song. So if you do get a chance please do have a check out of Anarchy and the Ukulele. Please do like and subscribe us. The more subscribers we can get the better. So although um, Kevin Down at Anarchy and Ukulele has now got about 12 ukuleles, I still always take a few down with me. So for start I always take my trusty little um, Leo one, which is my favourite one. It's um, it's a concert Leo, and it's absolutely beautiful ukulele. It's really really love it, and it's a bit of a sort of um, you know does a does a lot of different styles. Beautiful 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 ukulele, my go-to ukulele. Um, the other one that I'm taking down this week is this Carla. Not an expensive uke, but again, a really trusty ukulele. You can plug it in, which is pretty handy. The reason I'm taking this one is that I've got a low G slung on this one at the moment. And it just gives a bit of extra depth in case we need to do something with that little bit of extra depth to it. Although to be fair, um, Kev has got um, a U-Bass that he's using at the moment as well, which is really fun. And then the final one that I'm taking down is my other layer, which is a Mango um, ukulele. It's beautiful this one, but I've got this one tuned down um, a tone and a half. So this is actually tuned to E, E, A, C sharp, F sharp which is a little bit weird. Um, it's mainly because I know that we're going to be doing Wicked Game, um, which is a beautiful song. And I need to tune it down to get those um, low notes. So that's why I'm taking that one, just to tune it and give it a couple of days sort of rest really. Well, uh, it's going tomorrow, so it's not getting that much uh, rest in the new tuning, but that'll help out. So um, I'm gonna do a behind the scenes thing. You can see what's going on, how we record it, and etc. Hope you enjoy it, and if you do enjoy it, please do head over to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks very much for listening. Let's have a look behind the scenes. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning, just got down to the Anarchy in the Ukulele H HQ. Uh, took me about two hours, which isn't too bad. I normally come down in Sweet Pea, my 1984 VW camper, but she's no longer with us. So I'm in the trusty Fiat today. Let's have a little look around the Anarchy HQ. So this is the uh, Anarchy HQ. This is where we keep KD locked up. That's where Abby's locked up. We'll let her out later. That's where Bongo Boy's uh, kept locked up. We might let him out if he's good. So it's obviously a top secret location that we can't tell you uh, anything about in the middle of the uh, British countryside, which is uh, absolutely beautiful. And this is where all the mayhem, all the ukulele mayhem takes place. So I think what we'll do, we'll go in and uh, have a look, little look around and uh, see who's uh, up and about. So this is where all the magic happens. This is where we're doing all the anarchy in the ukulele stuff. 
So we'll go and barge in here and see. Uh... There's Bongo Boy, KD, just doing a little bit of setting up. So this is where all the magic happens. Did we, did we not get the proper ukulele player in this? <laughs> They're good. Just pretend it's not there. And I can't help notice there's a lot more ukuleles than when I used to come about two years ago <laughs> when there were no ukuleles and now, I don't know, when maybe... I, when I used to say you were playing a toy instrument. Yeah, and now look at you. <laughs> you you're, you're all on it. I think actually we should have some sort of competition. How many ukuleles are there in oh, Ginger you're, Dog? You're filming me without my makeup on. <laughs> and here's Abby. Am I allowed Hi. to film you, Abby? Yeah. Fantastic. Abby's got a good side and a great side. This is the good side. <laughs> this is the great side. And then this is Katie's mixing desk, which he doesn't let anyone else even look at, let alone go near. No, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. I don't <laughs> let you know. go near it, Paul. <laughs> With my tea. <laughs> I mean, anyone else can go yeah. do what Feel free like to, you. but just don't even look at it, Paul. This is the, uh, well it's a bit of a vocal booth and Dublin as a drum booth at the moment as well. So that's where Bongo Boy sits and plays his drums. Let's just have a look at some of the ukes that are actually here. That's that amazing flight anniversary, the 10 year model that is really stunning. We've got a bit of a Carla going on there. We've got around here. We've got, that looks like a Martin. Very nice. We've got a cheeky little flight down there. Then we've got a U base over here. Pure Tone Kahana, which I think was Kev's first ever ukulele. We won't mention that one there. Looks like we've got a Martin guitar. The Fender ukulele that I surprisingly liked. And then this is an interesting guitar. This is one of these guitars that's modern but made to look old or stressed. And that's an amazing guitar actually. And then over here we've got another a flight that I think we're going to review actually that's a really nice one I think it's called a fire tone or something like that I can't quite remember the name of it fireball, fireball. then we've got another Carla Carla's everywhere and then I'm not sure quite what the one around the back is I can't quite see it we Hi. have got the Kai as well which is nice and there you go that's most of the ukuleles excluding mine so here we are setting up for a video about amps ukulele amps you can see trying to work, can get this trying to work. Try to work. Imbecile comes in with his phone. Ignore Kev. Uh, oh, so we've gained five again. amps. Oh. And we've gained a baby, a Freddy, although he seems to have disappeared. That's, but there you go. <laughs> he was there. Um, so these are the amps that we're going to be reviewing in a little bit. I think it's about midnight. Oh no, it's not. It's quarter past 11. And we're still recording, but it's going well. It's not normally this quiet in here. There's normally uh, a lot of kids running around. This is. Uh, Kev's walking thing, Kev's slide. Um, there's a book that Kev's currently reading, actually, and uh, that's what Kev likes to drink out, and there is Huggies that he wears as well. So, um, yeah, this is the uh, where it happens. So it's early Friday morning, just had a good night's sleep, and I'm just about to start setting up for the day again to do some more anarchy in the ukulele action. I'm starting the day with a nice cup of tea. This is my bed for the night. I normally sleep in my camper van, but uh, that's no longer with me. That's gone, so I'm sleeping here for the moment. So where we film Anarchy in the ukulele is a top secret government location that you can see is in the middle of nowhere. And it's an absolutely stunning morning. And there's just no one around before we uh, kick off to do a bit more uh, anarchy. Now, as it's such a gorgeous morning here in our secret location and no one else is uh, into work yet, I thought I'd take a little look at uh, the challenge being set. So this is the Hana ukulele kit. Now, I have seen, I'm just gonna blow away a bit, I've seen a few of these kits actually, but this one's different because the ukulele in itself, you can see, pretty much within reason comes built some of them take this out a lot of them come with a separate neck that you have to then sort of uh, bolt on etc and you might have to do the frets etc this one the body is pretty much complete so um, realistically we've got to make this look nice we've got to do a bit of varnishing on it we've got to put the um, the bridge in but that's already set 
where it's got to go so that's no problem and then the main thing that we've got to do is the, uh, the tuning pegs which are in here as well so the instructions are pretty limited because there's not that much to build so the main thing really is going to be getting this to um, to look nice which um, I think like I was saying in the opening of the challenge I want to try and go for a classic look um, you know I've got a feeling that Abby bless her um, is going to do a great job and she's no doubt going to make it quite pimped hers will be quite um, exciting because I want more mine to have more of a classic look funnily enough for Christmas, I actually um, bought my dad one of these build-it-yourself guitar kits. So I'm hoping that he's got some of the stuff that you used to um, finish that off that I'll be able to use on this with a bit of luck. And he might even have some tools that I can do. So looking forward to this challenge. Should be good fun. So this is the Carla Low G in action. you catchy when I put a low G on I tend to put put a guitar string on actually a D string and just wind it up because then you've got the one metal one which just gives it that nice bassy little sound so I thought we'd have a little look at the multitude of ukuleles that we actually have so this one here this is a um, Kai really nice bamboo one so um, that's a nice ukulele they've not had that one for that long behind there there's um, just about to see it. it's a little bit dark but there's a Carla U-Bass then we've got the um, Pure Tone Kahana which I've got a feeling that's the first one um, that Kev ever actually owned this is a uh, prototype one really fantastic uh, little thing there then if we move over here we've got the Fender which I it's a little bit dark in here well, I wasn't expecting to like that much but uh, do like then down here we've got um, my Leo actually and then over here, what have we got? We've got another, it looks like another Carla. And then I don't know if I can spin this round. We've got the Martin there. That's the Distressed Martin, which is really nice that Kev did a review of. And then I think that's another Ohana over there, the one with the cord thing on the back. And then over here, we've got um, even more. We've got the uh, Flight Fireball, which is really nice. Then we've got the um, Carla Baritone. That's a beauty that is then we've got the flight anniversary 10 year anniversary one which uh kev absolutely loves that looks like a bamboo carla to me and we've got a donna don't know much about that one and then we've got a cheeky little ohana there as well then on the floor you can see some of the pedals that kev's been using this is Bongo Boy's live desk where he mixes the sound when we do uh, the live stuff, so that's pretty cool. And that's his thing for live video editing. This awesome new book, Discovering Fingerstyle Ukulele Songbook by Colin Tribe. Um, very well known songs. I mean, if I. Joni Mitchell, David Bowie, Can't Buy Me Love, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Eleanor Rigby, God Only Knows, The Beach Boys. I mean, Colin's been arranging, I'm sure he won't mind me saying, for a fair while now. And, you know, he's always been good, but he's just got better and better. And if you look at some of these videos online, well, I really hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes view of what goes on at Anarchy in the Ukulele. Please don't forget to like and sub subscribe us. And if there's anything you want us to review or anything like that, just get in touch. Thanks for watching.